Hey guys, Thunder E here, and uh, today we're going to be looking at the Galaxy Z Flip 3, doing some tips and tricks on this device. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay guys, thanks for joining us on this video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and notification icon. So the Galaxy Z Flip 3 is a lovely looking device and I do have the cream color here. So you notice it's quite a bit of fingerprints. I suggest the matte black. To me, that is the best looking one and also gives you just the best overall feel. Now, the first thing we're gonna look at here is the front display. You can quickly activate it to access the camera by double hitting your power button there on the side twice and that activates the camera for you. Now you do, you can use the viewfinder, you can swipe and you can see video with the next panel, swipe through, left or right, either way, that's fine. If you wanna go ahead and take a photo, you can use the volume down button or technically the volume up while it's closed, and that will take a photo for you. Likewise, you can do the same thing for video recording. You can also tap on the screen to stop the video recording if you want to. You can also use the hand gesture commands to take a photo, so. If you want to do that, that is quite possible. So nice quick access and also use of the front display. The next thing with the front display is you can double tap, of course, and this will show you your display clock style. And you can swipe through different things that you set up music, you've got the weather, you've got your schedule, notes, alarm, Samsung health, and of course a timer. Now, the other thing too is you can change your clock style to different clock styles. You can have a few presets, so you want to press and hold. That shows you a couple of the different clock styles here. And I have this one that has Red Hood. So if you guys know Red Hood, there you go. I'll have that wallpaper link for you guys there. But you can go through a couple of them right here and change them all the way through. Now if you want to fully customize it to what you want, Open up the device, go to your settings, and you want to go to cover screen under your settings. Here in cover screens, we've got a couple options. We can turn off notifications in the front screen, widget style. So basically in the widgets to show what we have on the widgets while we are scrolling through on that cover screen. We can reorder the, the way it actually shows up. And then we can go to our clock style. So as you can see, I have Red Hood and I can customize it by tapping on one of the different clock styles that has Red Hood here and I can change the color scheme around it. I can also change the background image from gallery and you know what I'm going to pull this one here. The Bat Family, done. So I double tap. I have the Bat Family. All right, those actions were built specifically for the Z Flip 3. Another one that's built specifically for this device has to do with the camera. And of course, we've got lovely King Shark here. I'll leave that wallpaper for you guys down in the description. So going to the camera, you want to use your rear cameras right here to take uh, photos of yourself and using that uh, front display. So it's a very simple option. You don't have to switch to your selfie mode. You stay in your regular camera mode and you want to go to top right hand corner and click that little icon. And it says cover screen preview, which allows you to see yourself with the cover screen. Now you can tilt your device in any manner. And of course you can use some of those voice commands like, you know, uh, cheese or smile and uh, you can also use this for video options as well so this will work with all the camera options this will work with single take this will work with portrait mode photos video so on and so forth so it's uh, it's quite useful especially if you want to do some shooting on your own and you can record at 60 uh, frames per second which is great uh, definitely check out Board Femme's video. She goes in, in depth into using the camera and some of the camera features, especially for selfie photo shoots, which she likes to do. But uh, you can do a lot of that using that cover display. So that is actually uh, pretty cool and very, very useful. One thing to mention though, is if you want to use the cover dis display to shoot video, 
you have to tilt the device first uh, to get the option here. So if that option's off and you go to video, you will not have that option on the top right hand screen. So you want to start from photo, get the option, then you can tilt the device and then you can move to video and you have it. And note your videos will be in portrait uh, mode and not in landscape. Of course, you can tilt it around if you want to, uh, to have that. And you can use all the different features that are built into it right there. Now, another thing of having a foldable device like this is that you can uh, definitely segment two sections of the screen quite well. You've got that quick access menu on the side, which you found in uh, Samsung devices, where you can, of course, quickly access different applications. And you can do the split apps as well. Uh, so we have the Samsung browser and I can go ahead, I can go ahead and have my video playing on the top while I browse the web at the bottom. So while the video is playing at the top, I've got Yahoo at the bottom. I can scroll them both. I can have it tilted, I can have it flat. Doesn't matter, works pretty well for both. It also works in landscape mode as well. So you have that built in and you can easily go ahead and swap the applications from top to bottom. If you like, you can go ahead and also just push it back and save that way if you've opened up different applications and you can also add some more from your multitask uh, menu. So with your edge panel, you can also do more besides just ha having that quick access to applications. You can add more edge panels as you want to and you can cycle through them by just swiping through. Now you can customize this and get more panels by going into your settings, under display, go to edge panel and then go into panels. Now you can select the panels you want. You can add a few panels here and then you can go into the Galaxy Store and also either purchase panels uh, or download some free ones as well. So you have quite a few panels to go through and uh, it adds more to just the usability of your edge panels doing more, especially just having the clipboard here. Quickly ask, access things you've copied so you can actually paste or use in different places. So very nice and uh, very simple, easy to use. Thing to customize is your notifications. Now you could do more than just have your notification settings in bubbles and things like that. You can go in here and change the edge lighting, which is something uh, we've seen in Galaxy devices in the past. Under brief pop-up uh, settings in edge in notifications, you can go in and change the color key, color by keyword, or the edge lighting effect, which is what we're looking for here. So you can have no effect if you want to. You can have basic wave bubbles, and you can have multicolor. You can have echoes, glitter. There's a whole bunch here. You can also change the colors of the effects. In advance, you can change the transparency, really low, high, the width, you can make it wider, duration is much longer. So if you have your device on the table and you get a notification, you get that and it should light up as well, even while closed. So you, you get the notification come up in between there. So that's something to add to the notification system on your device while you have it. And of course, this device has a 120 hertz display, so it is something you can either turn on or off and you can turn that off or at least switch it down to 60 hertz because this has a smaller battery at 3300 uh, milliamps. So to take advantage of the smaller battery and not drain your battery, you might want to move to that. But um, you can go up to adaptive 120 hertz, which will give you faster refresh rate while you're gaming, while you're browsing the web and, and things like that. Now, the other thing that I think a lot of Android users don't take advantage of is find my device, which is something that we know a lot of iOS users use quite frequently and something I think you should activate on your device. So you want to go to biometric settings and you want to go to find my mobile and you can turn it on uh, where you have to sign into your Samsung account uh, to do that. But if you go in here, it shows you what you can do, you can turn it on, you can remote unlock, you can send last location, you can find my mobile updates. Um, so if your device is missing, you can you know set up a remote unlock 
log into the Samsung website and then find your device. So definitely, definitely worth turning it on and setting up uh, on your uh, Galaxy Z Flip 3. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. So there was a couple of features on the Z Flip 3. This is a pretty solid device. I definitely like the way it feels. Uh, nice solid build. Again, this device is also water resistant. So, uh, you know, it will stand at least uh, rain showers and spillage. I don't think it's necessarily dust resistant. So just be careful with that. But in terms of just having water on this device, I think you'll be fine. If you guys have any questions or any comments about the Z Flip 3, you want to know more, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and Always enjoy your entertainment.